As you may or may not know, as a subscriber and a viewer of my channel, uh, not long ago I released a video where I detailed a method with which to determine whether a word is tangible or non-tangible. And I'll leave a link to that video right up here. And it's a method using parse. Now, if one was going to syntax a document and one had a question as to whether a word is tangible or non-tangible, one would use this method. It's a foolproof proof method with laser-like accuracy using the mechanics of parse. This is a method that my friend, brother, and mentor, colon raven hyphen farhad hyphen tohidi colon afarin, and myself came up with during our grammar discussions because we are always looking for ways to make this simpler, more accurate, more correct. Because if something just stays where it is, it gets stagnant, and you can see that in grammar performances that are not correct because people have not kept studying and learning. Once you stop moving, well, you know what happens. So, what I'm going to do is, with this new, uh, more accurate and correct manner of determining whether something is tangible or non-tangible, it greatly affects the syntax values that one is going to put in a document. Therefore, there are some videos on my channel which are not congruent with this correct method of determining tangibility versus non-tangibility. Over time, over now space, as the now space is available to me, I'm going to be going through my channel and deleting these videos. And I'm going to, as now space permits, create new videos. Giving examples of this syntax and parse method in now space scenarios. So I just want to make that clear that these videos are going to re remain up for a while, but as I go through and watch them and find out which ones are not correct and not congruent with the methods mentioned in the video that I linked to just a little bit ago in this video, up in the corner there, I'm going to delete them. And this is all part of the humility that is necessary for correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. To be humble and to be able to stop and correct and fix things when they are wrong, which I'm more than willing to do when I'm shown why. So that is this case, and I thank my continuing education with Colon Raven for this. Thanks.